you outlined a basic concern you have with regard to states reopening. Can you restate that for us? Yes. Uh, thank you, Senator Casey. Yes. My concern is that if states or cities or regions, uh, in their attempt, understandable, to get back to some form of normality, disregard to a greater or lesser degree the checkpoints that we put in our guidelines about when it is safe to proceed in pulling back on mitigation. Because I feel if that occurs, there is a real risk that you will trigger an outbreak that you may not be able to control, which in fact, paradoxically, will set you back, not only leading to some suffering and death that could be avoided, but could even set you back on the road to trying to get economic recovery, because it would almost turn the clock back rather than going forward. Uh, Senator Sanders. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Are we fearful that if we don't get our act together, as bad as the situation is now, it could become worse uh, in the fall or winter. When you talk about, will this virus just disappear? And as I've said publicly many times, that is just not gonna happen because it's such a highly transmissible virus. And even if we get better control over the summer months, it is likely that there will be virus somewhere in this, on this planet that will eventually get back to us. As much as I respect you, Dr. Fauci, I don't think you're the end all. I don't think you're the one person that gets to make a decision. We can listen to your advice, but there are people on the other side saying there's not going to be a surge and that we can safely open the economy, and the facts will t bear this out. But if we keep kids out of school for another year, what's gonna happen is the poor and underprivileged kids who don't have a parent that's able to teach them at home are not gonna learn for a full year. I have never made myself out to be the end all and only voice in this. I'm a scientist, a physician, and a public health official. I give advice according to the best scientific evidence. The second thing is that you use the word we should be humble about what we don't know. And I think that falls under the fact that we don't know everything about this virus. And we really better be very careful, particularly when it comes to children. Because the more and more we learn, we're seeing things about what this virus can do that we didn't see from the studies in China or in Europe. For example, right now, children presenting with COVID-19 COVID who actually have a very strange inflammatory syndrome, very similar to Kawasaki's syndrome. I think we better be careful if we are not cavalier in thinking that children are completely immune to the deleterious effects. Um, how likely is it? I mean, is it extremely likely we're going to get a vaccine within a year or two? Uh, is it just more likely than not? Or is it kind of a long shot? Uh, it's definitely not a long shot, uh, Senator Romney. I would think that it is more likely than not that we will, because this is a virus that induces an immune response that people recover. The overwhelming majority of people recover from this virus, although there is good morbidity and mortality at a level in certain populations. The very fact that the body is capable of spontaneously clearing the virus tells me that at least from a conceptual standpoint, we can stimulate the body with a vaccine that would induce a similar response. So although there's no guarantee, I think it clearly much more likely than not that somewhere within that time frame we will get a vaccine for this virus. So I just like to hear your honest opinion. Do we have the coronavirus contained? Uh, Senator, thank you for the question. Uh, right now, it, it depends on what you mean by containment. If you think that we have it completely under control, we don't. I mean, if you look at the, the dynamics of the outbreak, and we are seeing a diminution of hospitalizations and infections in some places, such as in New York City, which has plateaued and starting to come down, New Orleans, but in other parts of the country, we are seeing spikes. So when you look at the dynamics of new cases, even though some are coming down, the, the, the curve looks flat with some slight coming down. So I think we're going in the right direction, but the right direction does not mean we have by any means total control of this outbreak. 